So I'm a storyteller. Do you guys mind if I tell you some stories? It was a dark, cold night. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I want you to imagine with me, okay? Imagine witnessing a moment so monumental that it completely alters the entire trajectory of your life. Well, that's exactly what happened to me when I was four years old. I'm watching the Olympics for the very first time, and I see this woman on my screen by the name of Flojo. She crosses the finish line in a time of 10.62 seconds, breaking the Olympic record. After that, they take her to an Olympic podium. She stands behind the number one square, gets up on the top, and then they place the gold medal around her neck and play the United States national anthem for the entire world to hear. Now at that moment, I was hooked. <laughs> So I go to my mom and I say, Mom, what's it going to take for me to be like this Flojo lady? And she said, hard work, perseverance. But as time went on, I learned that it was my mother's advice that was right. See, we went through a time period where my mother fell in love with this amazing man, but he was in love with alcohol. And when he became drunk, he would beat my mother. He ended up going to jail and my mother spiraled into a depression. And so when she ended up losing her job, we ended up homeless. And I learned through those times that perseverance meant no matter how hard or how long, you never give up. It was an emotional experience. What she said changed our lives. She'll have your guests glued and excitement the entire time. So when I see the audience, I see people that are dealing with real life situations that sometimes seem so overwhelming that they want to stop. They want to give up. My grandmother was the person in my life who put me on the path to being able to succeed, travel the world, and eventually reach my dream. And it's that power and the potential I see inside of each of the audience members that I speak to. It's that greatness and resilience that each and every one of us has, but we just have to be reminded of it. And the way that the Olympic trials work is they take the 30 best jumpers in the entire nation. They don't care if you've just got out of diapers or you have 14 Olympic gold medals. We are all competing against each other. But they didn't know I was driven by my why. So when it became my turn to jump, I leaned back at my mark. I thought about Flojo all those years before, and I powered down the track, and I cleared bar after bar after bar again and again until there were just three women standing, and I made my first Olympic team. <laughs> Tante brings the heat. Shantae Lowe knows there is nothing quite like competing on the Olympic stage. If there is an art to staring down obstacles and coming out on top, Shantae Lowe takes the gold. I realized that it was important for me to engage in self-care and I started doing self-breast exams as part of that self-care. I ended up finding itsy bitsy tiny rice size lump. And that lump turned out to be breast cancer. See, when you face a life or death situation, it's usually your life that flashes before your eyes. In my case, it wasn't my life. It was the lives of my husband and my children without me. And so in that moment when I was ready to give up, my husband said, no, no, Shantae, you have been a fighter your entire life. Now is the time to fight. And I realized he was right. That muscle of resilience that I had been building up all those years was there for me in that time that I needed. And in that moment, I decided to train for my fifth Olympic Games through the chemotherapy and the double mastectomy because I knew that if I could get in front of those cameras and if I shared my story, maybe one woman or man could get checked and maybe my story could help save a life. I took my cell phone. I didn't have a big platform. I had 2,000 followers on Instagram. But I started recording the messages and sharing the shedding fingernails, the shaved head, the walking. I started inspiring people and giving them hope. And then something crazy happened. In that moment, 
that thing that I was missing when I got my Olympic medal was there. That message got into the hands, eyes, social media accounts of 372 million people. See, when you have goals that take you outside of your comfort zone, it causes you to do more. You know that you can't cut corners or find shortcuts because if you do that, you will not achieve it. Those are the best goals worth fighting for. Sometimes it feels like our competitors are getting the edge or our time hasn't come. Doing the right thing always pays off and perseverance means no matter how hard or how long, you never stop short of the goal. Make the decision today that it's not enough just to survive and instead be an active participant in the journey forward. Ask yourself, how do we raise the bar from here? Thank you so much. Thank you.